Last, last week. Last week, uh -huh. yes. And has he also accepted Amadir yes. along with the family or not? Yes. 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 And which family do you belong to? Could you introduce your family background, please? Birmingham. Uh, no, no. Birmingham is not your family background, is it? Do you hear from Hindu, Muslims, Muslim. Christians, or what? Muslim. From Muslims. Muslims. From India? Originally? Bangladesh. Or Bangladesh? Yeah. From Bangladesh. Yeah. Are you coming from East London or Bangladesh? Right? Bangladesh. Right. So when did your, last week your family became Ahmadi Muslims yeah. all together, yeah. right? Okay. Now what is your question please? Mm. In what in your opinion should be my priority to become a good Ahmadi Muslim? What in your opinion should be my priority to become a good Yes. <laughs> you see, the priority of every Muslim is the same as the priority of every Ahmadi. Because we are Muslims. So you should understand fully that you have not changed your religion. You have changed your understanding of that religion with the purpose that you become a better Muslim. So the priority in Amidat is to practice Islam as you believe in it. You understand? Yes. If previously you did not say your prayers four times properly, if you did not pay attention to the recitation of the Quran, if you had no desire to understand the message of God to you, that is the Quran, then after becoming an Ahmadi, you should now pay serious attention to these uh, lapses in your training. You understand? Yes. So we uh, can't keep in touch with the um, Murabis, that is the Ahmadi missionaries there, or Khulamul Ahmadiyya office bearers, etc. And uh, other elders of the Jamaat and try first of all to improve your knowledge of Islam. If you have not learned the meaning of the prayer which you recite during every prayer in, in every day, then you should learn, you should begin your learning program from that. It is extremely important for every Ahmadi child and youth to understand what he is saying to God. When you appear in the prayer five times a day, every rakat you say something. What that something is, if you don't understand, then your appearance in the prayer before God is just a formality. It would not convey anything to you, it would not improve your quality of life, because you don't know what you are saying to God. So this is most important in answer to your question I address all the children here that they must all of them without fail pay special attention to the meaning of nama, the namaz as we call it and learn what, what the, uh, the meaning of Alhamdulillah and other surahs and Subhanahu wa and Allah but of course and then Samir Allah and all through the namaz and once you have learned the meaning, then when you appear before Allah, then concentrate on the meaning of what you are saying. Then your education program will begin. Because the best educator for a Muslim is Numaz, that is the prayer. And after, and in addition to that, not after that, in addition to that, <coughs> you should try to learn how to recite the Quran directly from Arabic and then to improve your understanding of your Arabic, the Arabic text of the Quran. Normally I have found people living in the West consider it sufficient to read the translation of the Quran available in English, French, other languages and so on. Now this is not right. A translation is never perfect. It's impossible for a translation to be to carry all the meanings 
and correctly so, which uh, the original message of the Quran contains. So it is highly advisable for any of the youth, particularly at this age, learning age, to begin to learn the Quran directly from Arabic text and improve its understanding. It's not difficult if you apportion yourself small sections of the Quran daily according to your capacity but stick to it and uh, just uh, be persistent in this pursuit then inshallah within a matter of year or two your knowledge will increase many 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 folds and you will feel much happier with your being a Muslim then you can infer yourself from the verses of the Quran you will become more familiar and then you will begin to fall in love with the Quran which otherwise you cannot See, how can you fall in love with something whose beauty you do not know, whose beauty has never dawned upon you? So to fall in love with the Quran requires your direct relationship with the Quran and understanding which is repeated day to day. Every morning, every day you come into contact with the Quran. So that is a long program. but. To begin with, I want you to set yourself the task of daily reciting the Quran and beginning your day with the recitation of the Quran. After the prayer, of course, morning prayer. So even if you can recite only four or five verses, even if you have five minutes available, fix that five minutes and never forget to uh, recite the Quran during that fixed period of five minutes. Gradually, as you understand, uh, gradually as you become familiar with the recitation, as you are enamored by the beauty of this verse, these verses, you will begin to increase the duration from five to more minutes and so on and so forth. I know some people they recite half a half of a para, that is uh, part the Quran is divided into 30 parts so some people recite half a part daily and finish the Quran in 60 days some people do it one para daily and finish the whole Quran in 30 days but at your stage even if you do it uh, one eighth of a para that would be quite something about two rukus so that is the second learning program which I suggest to you. Then learn more about Ahmadiyyat and the differences of views the Ahmadis have with the understanding of Islam of other Muslims. Basically, the fundamental to this question is the question of Jesus, Jesus Christ's life. Is he alive, bodily alive, and waiting somewhere in the heaven for his return to this earth or did he die like all other prophets of Allah and return to God? This is the first question with which you should become familiar. And as you know perhaps by now, you have become an Amazon, you should have known by now that we believe that Jesus Christ died like other, all other prophets, like Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah it is not that special in the sight of Allah that Prophet Muhammad should die and he should not. He died an ordinary death like every, every other prophet, but he did not die upon cross. 